Back in September, I decided I'd really like to have a look at what effect putting some art papers back out into the paddock and burying them in the soil would have. I had this idea that I would get some lovely staining, maybe even some animal activity, so insects chewing at the paper or maybe the echidna digging it up. So I put some papers together, soaked them in water after a couple of hours. I took them out, I dug a hole in the paddock, this beautiful black volcanic soil that we've got. So this is a bit about what I discovered by burying out papers out in the paddock. So just having a look at where I buried the art papers and it looks like the echidnas had a bit of a dig around but not actually surfaced any of the paper so I'm just going to leave it as is. So I've been out in the paddock this morning where we buried the paper in the forest in my morning walk with Lou and I've just uncovered two of the sheets so I can have a go looking at what sort of marks has been left on the paper. So I just want to give them a quick rinse. Some of the dirt's just rubbing right off but some of it is actually good and stained. Okay, so I'm going to let that soak for a little bit and come back and have a look. So after having a look at the two papers that I dug up and rinsed off, I decided to go back out in the paddock and dig up all the papers because I really was keen to see what they looked like. And some of them were quite difficult to get out of the ground. The really soft papers, so I had some rice paper and mulberry paper in there, came apart in pieces. And actually, I don't mind that. So let's have a look at what came out of the paddock. I really love the way some of these have come all torn. And... The edges of them just look great. So there's four, four different types of paper in this lot and obviously the mulberry paper is quite fine and so it's been quite damaged in the process of burying and digging up and even the more robust canton paper has also also come apart but I really like them I really like these remnants the fragments they look fantastic feels like cloth Some of these papers, like this one, had a lot of fibre already in it, a lot of texture. It was quite a, quite a lightweight paper. 
Now it almost feels like a tissue. So there's the papers from the paddock rinsed and laid out on the ground to dry. It's early morning, so I'm hoping that these will take a little bit of time, but that they should be good by the end of the day. So we'll be able to have a look at what sort of marks I got from the burial of these in the soil. So here's the first two pieces of paper that I got out of the paddock and tested and dried. So what I want to do is I've got this beautiful piece of red coloured clay soil out of the paddock while I was out walking this morning. And I just want to make some marks on this, these two dried pieces and also some of these pieces that are still wet. I'm in my gumboots, not long being back from the paddock. Beautiful, ready orange color. I love this colour, especially against the sort of greyed out colour of the black soil. Okay, I'll dry those as well. So back in the studio, I kept working on these beautiful papers and I used some acrylic ink, especially black and antelope brown and also use more of that beautiful red clay soil. So I'm a bit undecided what to do with these works, but they really remind me of fragments. And so I want to pursue possibly looking at cold wax medium or encaustic to finish these and take them further. <laughs> 